You're not going to believe this, but this is so true. PNC Bank currently has a credit card that allows you to have a huge personal limit all the way to $60,000. 60. And they actually uh, welcome people with low and fair credit. That's fantastic. I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation because you're going to love what you're going to hear. I guarantee it. Folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great and blessed as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you today about what? A huge personal credit card from PNC Bank. Maximum limit $60,000. Okay, what are the credit card facts here? So we're all speaking about an unsecured credit card. No personal guarantee, no collateral, nothing. But this card has no rewards though. So that's just something you need to know about. And uh, the maximum limit is $60,000. The APR will oscillate between a 1099% and 22.99%. There are no fees and the decision speed is one to three days, all right? And there are no extra conditions and the minimum FICO required, 525. Isn't that wonderful? That's beautiful. We love that. And the cool thing here is that with the, this credit card, you actually get uh, introductory 0% APR on purchases for the first 15 billing cycles following account opening. Okay. Now, the, besides the card, this card, we, we also have uh, two other cards that are notable from PNC. So you have the PNC Cash Rewards Visa Credit Card. With this card, you, you'll get a, a, you will receive a, a $100 bonus after you make $1,000 or more in purchases during the first three billing cycles following account opening, okay? And uh, you also have the PNC Point Visa credit card, and here you will get 50,000 bonus points after you make $750 or more in purchases during the first three billing cycles following account opening. And uh, one thing we love about all the cars here is that, and the reason why I'm telling you this is that in case you don't get you don't qualify for the uh, for the card the, the PNC Core Visa credit card. Actually, this is the card I'll be talking to you about. It's called the PNC Core Visa credit card. That's the one with the sixty thousand maximum credit limit. If you don't qualify for that, you could apply for the PNC Cash Rewards Visa credit card, and uh, or the PNC Points Visa credit card. Okay, those two cards they have uh, lower limits, but it's still okay. For example, the PNC Cash Rewards Visa credit card will give you a limit all the way to, all the way to fifty thousand dollars, and the PNC Point Visa credit card, the the maximum limit is uh, thirty five to forty grand. Okay, but everything everything depends on your credit worthiness, right? It depends on your credit score. Now, let me talk to you about the the issuer because when people think about, first of all, folks. In this show, I'm talking to you about a high limit personal credit card from PNC Bank. Maximum limit, $60,000. People with uh, poor credit, fair credit are welcome. Okay? And it's important. So when we talk about PNC Bank, people think about a big bank. Yes, it is a big bank. The bank is uh, headquartered in Pittsburgh. Okay? And uh, they are a financial services behemoth. They are a colossus. They are big. Okay, that's just, yeah. And the thing here is that they have more than 18,000 ATMs and uh, including uh, network partners. And they have 2,000 branches that are scattered throughout the, the Southeast, the Mid Atlantic, and the Midwest. Having said that, I, I can show you on the screen here branches by state. So this is the, the uh, geographical concentration of PNC Bank. Having said that, they do land nationally. So don't worry if you're based somewhere in California or Wyoming or Oregon or, or Washington State, you can still qualify. No problem there. OK, the only thing is you need to have an account with them. You need to have a relationship with them. OK, and what are the pros and cons with uh, when, come, when we talk about PNC Bank? So you have sign up bonuses for deposit account. Those are the pros. ATM fee reimbursement. They have a wide constellation of products and services. We love that. And um, 
the uh, an, another thing here, the the drawbacks is that it's kind of harder in our research. At least what we found is that it's harder to open a standalone account, and uh, because they want you to have another account, another account, another account. In our analysis, it's worth it because if you're getting, if you can get a sixty thousand or forty thousand or thirty thousand credit limits on a personal credit card by opening two or three accounts with them, go ahead and do it. Right? <laughs> Who cares anyway? So you got to do what you have to do, okay? And uh, so after evaluating this card issuer on tens of criteria, including the credit card variety, the, car, the card limit generosity, the cost, the reputation, the customer service, we assigned PNC Bank a score of 8.5 over 10. And you can see that our score is corroborated by other reviews online. For example, on Consumer Affairs, they have a, received a score of a 3.7 over 5 from uh, 655 reviewers on uh, wallet hub wallet hub they have received uh, a similar score 3.7 over 5 from 6797 reviewers and from trust pilot they have actually received a very abysmal score of 2.1 over 5 from 69 uh, reviewers now let me talk to you about the card in depth but before i get into that folks I am speaking to you about a high limit, a very high limit credit card from PNC Bank. Maximum credit limit, $60,000. All right. You have bad credit, poor credit. Don't worry, you qualify. But before I get into the nitty gritty, please, here is the, I have a decision time for you. The decision time is, do you really want to get this card? If yes, why? Do you have an idea what you will use the money for? The limit, the, 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 the revolving line for? What is your credit score? Do you have a relationship right now with the PNC Bank? Where do you live in the country? Do you live on the Midwest or do you live on, on, the, on the East Coast? Where do you live? What is your budget? What is your financial situation? I will actually um, elaborate a little more, a little more like in the next few minutes, but I want you to start thinking that. I want your brain right now to start working. I want your mental algorithm right now to start thinking about why you need the card, all right? Do me that favor. So the card in depth, this card is called the PNC Core Visa Credit Card. As I said earlier, it is an unsecured credit card, maximum limit 60,000, and the APR you will qualify for will be between 1099% and 22.99%. Okay, you can get the card really fast within uh, one to three days, and uh, actually there are no extra conditions, and the FICO required for this card is 525, the minimum, okay? This card does not offer a rewards program. You just have to know that, and it has no annual fees. This is fantastic. There is a penalty APR of 28.99%. Balance transfer intro, intro APR 0% for the first 15 billing cycles. Isn't that wonderful? I love the sound of that. 15. Whoo, whoo, whoo. 15. I need something like that, by the way. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But you have a balance transfer fee intro of 3% for 90 days. And this is minimum $5. Then it becomes 4%. And you have a cash advance fee of 5%, five, 5%, minimum $10. And foreign transaction fee, 3%. So the picture I'm trying to paint here is that this card does have a constellation of rates and fees. So you got to be really careful. The limit might be a little high in terms of they can offer you, they're very generous. They will give you up to $60,000. But you better be very careful. Otherwise, you know, all the fees will just eat into your uh, limit. Okay. And um, now... You will receive a $100 bonus after you make $1,000 or more in purchases during the first three billing cycles following the account opening. You can save on interest with 0% intro APR on balance transfer for the first 15 billing cycles. This is pretty good, right? I love that. And we love the fact that it, they do have uh, other benefits. So you have travel and emergency protection. You have $0 for liability also. This is really good. Let's talk about eligibility, folks. Again, folks, what are we talking about here? In this show, I'm talking to you today about a very high limit credit card from PNC Bank. Gone are the days where you are applying for a credit card with a small limit. You know, the tiny, the teeny weeny yellow pocket dot bikini credit limits. Those are gone. Those days are gone. Now I want you to graduate. I want you to start thinking about a high limit so you can actually improve your financial situation and enjoy the things that you want to enjoy. Of course, responsibly, right? So we're talking about a very generous credit card from a PNC bank, maximum credit limit, $60,000. 
low credit, poor credit, fair credit, everybody's welcome. So what are the, uh, to be eligible for this uh, card? First of all, PNC Bank hasn't said it, but you need to have a relationship with them. You need to have at least one account with them, a savings account, a checking account, whatever. They are not, they, they're not going to say it openly, but this is going to help you actually qualify for a loan or a credit card with them. So you got to have that. You need to have you need to be at least 21 years old or 18 with either a parent's permission or a verifiable source of income. This is very important. You got to have a social. That's important or, or an item. This is uh, also good. And you need to have a source of income. OK, uh, because uh, PNC is going to verify all that. They will, they will verify your W-2s. They'll verify your 1099s. They will verify your tax returns. So be ready to provide your tax returns. I, and I'm not saying like, you know, your 1040 easy or 1040 NR. No, you need to have a full, a comprehensive set of uh, tax returns for the last three years. OK, and if you want to co-borrow, if you want to have a co-signer uh, co on the credit card, then you need to have the financial information of the partner also. And uh, if you don't have positive credit, a positive credit history, then you need to find other ways to actually um offset that and one way for example is to show uh, PNC bank that you do have money in in the bank and not in not in any bank in their bank right that you have a solid job or do you have a, a solid business and that you have some cash coming in that's this is the uh, quintessential way for you to uh, counterbalance the negative uh, the adverse the adverse impression that bad or fair credit gives a lender such as PNC bank all right, this is something you need to work on. I'll be right back, right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you today about uh, a very high limit credit card from PNC Bank. We're talking about the PNC Core Visa card. And this card is uh, so great. It has a uh, it has a maximum credit limit of $60,000. Low FICO is okay. Fair FICO is okay. And the evidence needed in terms of uh, this credit card there are uh, let me just say it this way. Mm -hmm. I've already spoken about those uh, re requirements. And they're similar to requirements that other credit card issuers ask for. For example, they have a few. They, first of all, they want you to fill fill out the application form, the credit card application form, properly and fully. They want to, they want to know from you what type of card you need, whether you are a tenant or homeowner. I'll go through the application later on, but um, the the they want to know whether or not you have uh, other personal debts, who your creditors are whether this is a joint credit card application, this is important for them, whether you are co-borrowing or co-signing, your personal background, your resumes, that kind of stuff, right? They also want to have your income tax returns. I already spoke about that. And again, it's important to make sure that if you want to uh, improve your odds of approval, and let's say you have a side gig, you have a business on the side, either a, a side gig or a fully incorporated business, then you want to add, you want, actually want to have uh, both tax returns you want to have your personal tax return and your business tax return okay you also want to think about your financial statements either at the personal level or at the business level actually both will be good if those are applicable to you so again i'm speaking about your balance sheet here right your income statements your cash flows state your cash flow statements and also your bank statements ideally you will have, you would have uh, an account or two with PNC Bank, so you wouldn't have to. You will not have to provide bank statements because they can see your transactional history in their books, okay. And in some cases, um, PN, PNC Bank might require collateral, but for this particular credit card, they don't require credit. They don't require collateral uh, for a loan, for a personal loan, for example. They might require a collateral or a personal guarantee, especially. If you're um, if you're asking for a very high amount, then they might want to have a secure loan, a secure personal loan. If the amount is high or the maturity is long, let's say seven years or eight years, a lot of stuff can happen in eight years. And PNC bankers fully understand that. Now, let me talk to you about how to apply. So when we talk about what are we talking about here, folks, we are speaking about a very generous high limit. 
personal credit card from PNC Bank. Maximum credit card limits sixty thousand dollars. Minimum limits. It, it's unknown, but I guess it's it's zero dollar or one dollar or something. But uh, this card is fantastic because it welcomes with uh, both arms borrowers with uh, low credit or fair credit. And to apply, you can apply by faxing the application form to them. If you receive the, let's say you received a uh, solicitation in the mail and they want you and they give you a fax number, you can fax it over. You can apply online. You can apply over the phone. You can visit the branch, uh, the nearest PNC branch, PNC bank branch, right? Or you can mail it in. You can mail in the application. Again, if you received a uh, solicitation in the mail inviting you to apply for this card, go ahead and just uh, fill it out and just mail it back in. All right. Or you can apply online. You can really apply online. So when we talk about applying online here, you can see on the screen here, I'm, I'm just explaining to you. Uh, so we have a series of, uh, we have a series of uh, snapshots here. So here you can see here. So they are asking you, do you currently use PNC online banking? And we said, no, ideally you, you want to say yes because you want to have a relationship with them. We only said no because we're doing this for ed educational purposes. We're not actually uh, getting any uh, compensation from PNC. We're not getting anything from them. So for the, for us, it's not really worth it. But you you have to put your name and address, right? Your first name, last name, your address. Um, you want to put also your phone, your social security number. Okay. And the time that you have spent at your current job, your co-applicants, if any, and you want to click continue okay and now you also want to talk about your uh, your income very important we put 48 grand here years of uh, years with your employer and you can add a co applicants if applicable here if any right then you click continue okay and then uh, here we have uh, you want you want to review the info takes some time to really make sure everything is fine that you haven't made any mistake this is very important okay <laughs> i put uh, address one two three anywhere streets <laughs> in philly i love philly by the way <laughs> but uh yeah and so you review the, the the whole the information and then on the next slide you review the second part of the information and then next you just accept the terms if everything is fine and then you click submit Now, let me give you a few pro tips, folks. Again, here, I want you to have a decision time. But before I do that, I, I want you to understand that in this show, I am talking to you about a very high limit credit card from uh, PNC Bank. Maximum limit, $60,000. And this card is opening. They are, they are comfortable with uh, people with low credit or poor credit or fair credit. Everything is fine. And uh, you have to be a little strategic in how you apply. And I, this is what I want to give you a few pro tips. You want to keep your documents in order. Okay, it's very important. What I mean uh, by documents, I'm, I mean your financial documents, your other documents, including your resume, for example. People don't think about a resume when thinking about applying for a credit card or a loan, but everything counts, especially if you have poor or fair credit. Okay, so everything about your finances, your bank statements, your uh, your uh, your income statements, your uh, balance sheets, your uh, cash flow statements, you can actually uh, do this electronically. There, there is a, a whole constellation of free software tools out there that will enable you to actually do your financials for free. You also want to maintain good credit. Let me ask you a question: Do you even know your credit score right now? Do you have an idea? Are you in the 600 category, 700s, 800s? Are you in the 300s, 400? Or you probably know, oh, okay, I have bad credit or I have fair credit. And you only know when you apply, but this is not the right way. You need to actually uh, be proactive here. Instead of being reactive, you need to be proactive and check out your uh, credit report and see exactly what's in there. This is how you're going to start the conversation about, about uh, polishing it, about clearing up whatever derogatory items you have, whatever negative and adverse elements you have, okay? And you also want to think about demonstrating sufficient cash flow. If you want PNC Bank to approve you for their credit card and give you the maximum limits or at least something uh, reasonable, you want to demonstrate sufficient cash flow. 
It doesn't matter if you have poor credit or bad or fair credit. If you can show them that you have a steady job, that you have money coming in, that you have a, a, a business, a profitable business, they will actually, uh, they will qualify you, okay? And the good thing here is that if you don't qualify for this credit card, there are other credit cards that I showed you at the beginning of today's show where you can actually, and those cards are also unsecured. So you have options and this is important. All right, folks, this was it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about a huge personal credit card from PNC Bank and the maximum limit is $60,000. This is a card that is open to people with a poor or fair credit. And uh, I spoke to you, I gave you uh, the, an overview, credit card facts. I gave you an overview of uh, the issuer, a snapshot, if you will. The card in depth, eligibility criteria, evidence needed, how to apply. And I gave you a few pro tips at the end. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. Marvelous.